Microphone selection and placement is a critical first step in getting a good mix. Choose the right mic and place it well and you'll be well on your way to a great sounding mix. But choose the wrong mic or don't place it right and you could really struggle with getting good sounds. There are two basic types of microphones we'll be working with, condenser and dynamic. And within those two types, there's a variety of pickup patterns. Some of the common types are cardioid, hypercardioid, supercardioid, omni, and figure eight. Don't worry, we'll talk more about those. There are also symbols that represent all of these different types. So let's talk about the different pickup patterns some more. The most common pickup pattern used in a live sound environment is probably the cardioid pattern. The cardioid pattern picks up strong in the front, less on the sides, and rejects on the back side of the microphone. The cardioid pattern looks like a heart if you were to draw it on paper, and this is where it gets its name cardioid from, meaning heart. The cardioid pattern is great if you're using floor monitors because of the rejection on the back of the microphone. It will reject sound coming from the floor, which will reduce your chances for feedback. Related to the cardioid, you have supercardioid and hypercardioid. Both of these mics pick up less on the sides, but there's a trade-off. You're going to pick up sound from the back of the microphone. And if you're using a floor monitor, this could be bad because you could introduce feedback. Now there are two other types of microphones that aren't used very much in the live environment figure eight and omnidirectional. A figure eight picks up equally on the front and rear of the microphone, but rejects on the sides. An omnidirectional microphone picks up equally on all sides of the microphone. Now that you have an understanding of pickup patterns, let's talk about the differences between condenser mics and dynamic mics. The most common microphone used in the live sound environment is a dynamic microphone. This is due in part to its durability. They're very durable mics and they're not easily broken. They're also good sounding microphones. The only trade off is that they may not have great response on the higher frequencies and they're probably not the best microphone if you're trying to pick up something that's quiet. But if you have something that has a healthy volume and doesn't need lots of extended high frequencies such as strings, dynamic microphones are the way to go. Most of the time, they are a cardioid pickup pattern. Sometimes you might see hyper or super cardioid. They are a fixed pattern though, meaning that you can't switch between patterns. It is what it is. A few examples of dynamic microphones are Shure's SM57 and SM58. These are probably two of the most common microphones used in live sound. Condenser microphones are the other common type of mic used in live sound. They are more sensitive to a broader range of frequencies, specifically high frequencies. They are also more sensitive to quiet sounds. They might pick up sounds that a dynamic microphone would miss. The trade-off is they might distort if the sound is too loud. Some of them have pads on them to eliminate the distortion. They also come in a variety of pickup patterns, hypercardioid, supercardioid, omni, figure eight. Some of them even have switches that allow you to choose what pattern you want for the specific application. Some condenser mics also have a high pass filter. This eliminates unwanted low frequencies in the microphone. A good example would be if you're using them for overhead mics on a drum set. You don't really want all the low frequencies coming through your overhead mics so you could go ahead and flip the switch to eliminate the low frequencies.